Hello, this is Atmospheric Sciences 231, briefing number two for Fred Reamer's online class. My name is Robert Knapp. We'll get right into it. The surface analysis chart looks like uh, in the Minnesota, North Dakota area. We do have a few high pressure systems here um, with a stationary front uh, to the south of us penetrating through um, the south state of South Dakota. Um, not a lot of frontal activity in the Minnesota, North Dakota area. Uh, maybe have a couple of fronts um, up north of us. Shouldn't be too much of a factor. And then in, um, let's see, western United States, not a lot of frontal activity either. A few high pressure and low pressure systems. And then a little bit more frontal activity um, along the coast, on the east coast here. Um, looks like there are um, maybe some cold fronts pushing into an area of low pressure, maybe a warmer area. So maybe expect some thunderstorms along the east coast. Uh, we have convective sigmets um, in... Uh, the more western, uh, western central areas of the United States um, in this area here. And we also have a lot of convective segments along the um, east coast there. Like I was saying, maybe some of those uh, colder fronts are creating some weather systems. But moving on, um, uh, more segments, um, convective and turbulent um, thunderstorm segments along the coast and in um, these areas here. All right, uh, with the IR satellite infrared, uh, we see a little bit of um, activity here in the area where we had those segments. Looks like some uh, areas of clouds. Nothing too uh, um, too thick there, so I'm not too worried about that. But along the east coast here, we do have quite a bit of activity. Uh, maybe some uh, thicker clouds, some more vertical development there, and definitely could be uh, seeing some. Uh, some thunderstorms in that area. I'm also seeing the visible satellite. Um, basically the same thing on the infrared satellite. Our water vapor, um, we're seeing a little bit in that area where those uh, segments were, um, as, which is to be expected. And also along that uh, east coast does look like there are there is quite a bit of water vapor in that area, so I'm not surprised that there um, looks like there's maybe some thunderstorms um, in that area. Nothing too terrible, um, to be honest, but definitely something to keep an eye out for. Uh, next, we have our freezing levels. Um, again, looks like most of the United States is um, has the a freezing level of 15 to 17,000 feet. Um, in California, it looks like it's a little bit higher than that. And then in the um, Minnesota, North Dakota area, it uh, looks like it's a little bit lower. Um, which is to be expected the further north we go looks like the freezing level continues to drop down uh, Which I'm not surprised by at all um, Then we have um, icing severity and along that east coast again um, some SLD uh, threats of SLD there um, with some heavy uh, Chance for heavy icing and then um, a little bit more of like light maybe areas of moderate icing um, along the uh, in the central um, central western area of the United States. Now we have pyreps of icing. Looks like in the uh, in kind of the central United States here, we have a little bit of uh, light to moderate. Uh, nothing too too bad there. A um, little bit of trace icing um, over there, and then along the uh, east coast, actually not too bad. Um, at worst, it's uh, trace or light. And we do have uh, pyreps for turbulence. Wow, a lot in this, um, just south of the Great Lakes area. Quite a bit of turbulence there. Nothing extreme or severe. Um, looks like just areas of light, maybe moderate. Um, and then in various places in the rest of the United States. Now, surprisingly, our radar isn't too bad. It looked like it was going to be pretty, uh, pretty bad um, out in the East Coast area. But actually, I'm not seeing anything uh, too severe. There is some weather systems here, um, areas of heavy rain, and um, especially concentrated up more towards New York. Um, but nothing that looks too horrendous. And then again, in this uh, central western area, um, we do have some scattered systems, but nothing too concentrated or too, too bad. So it um, shouldn't be too hard to avoid if you are flying uh, near those areas. Now Grand Forks, uh, fortunately today we have missed everything, so um, nothing to be too worried about here. Um, the TAF is looking pretty good, it's clear skies essentially, 
a um, few at 4,000 and then later today a few at 25,000 really nothing I'm worried about there variable at four knots um, shouldn't be a any concern then you have the current weather 10 cents you miles visibility uh, zero knots of uh, wind a few at 5,000 few at 10 and scattered further up pretty nice uh, dew point temperature spread so um, shouldn't have any uh, cloud development today should remain clear skies and a beautiful day here in Grand Forks, so enjoy flying. This concludes our weather briefing for the Grand Forks area.